complementary angles are angles that add up to 90 degrees. So if we have a triangle and two angles add to 90, then the third angle must be 90. So really what we have here is a right triangle. So the other two angles are going to add up to 90. Uh, let me identify the sides using like A, B, and C. So the bottom leg, let's call side A, and then side B, side C. So then the angle that's opposite the side, we'll use a capital letter. So opposite side A, we'll call it angle A. Opposite side B, we'll call it angle B. So then I guess we could say the 90 degree angle is angle C. We'll just leave it like that. So using this right triangle, uh, let's find the six trig functions of angle A, and then compare that with the six trig functions of angle B. So the sine of angle A, opposite over hypotenuse, so A over C. Okay, cosine of angle A, adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent of angle A, opposite over adjacent. Once you know these three, then just take the reciprocals. So then the cotangent of angle A, B over A, C can of angle A, C over B, and then the cosecant of angle A, C over A. Okay, let's do the exact same thing for angle B, and we'll see how these relate to each other. So the sine of angle B opposite over hypotenuse, so B over C, cosine of angle B, A over C, tangent of angle B, opposite over hypotenuse, so B over A. I want you to know those three, just take the reciprocals for the next three. So cotangent of angle B, is A over B. Secant of angle B would be C over A, and then cosecant of angle B, C over B. Okay, so let's see how angle A relates to angle B. So if I look at sine of angle A, I want to look on the other side, or other column for A over C, and we find that's cosine of B. So that means that sine of angle A is equal to cosine of angle B. Cosine of A, B over C, is the same thing as sine of B. And you'll see that this pattern continues all the way down. Okay, so let's summarize what's happening here. So sine of angle A is equal to cosine of angle B. Remember that A and B were complementary, so that means that A plus B is 90 degrees. So B can be defined as 90 degrees minus A. So that means that sine of angle A can be written as the cosine of 90 degrees minus A. Likewise, cosine of angle A, we saw was sine of angle B. Again, B is 90 minus A. This is called a complementary angle theorem. So if you have two angles that add up to 90 degrees, their co-functions are going to be equal in the, in the fact that uh, sine of A is cosine of B, where B is 90 minus A. So we can do the exact same thing for the tangent and the cotangent. So tangent of angle A is the cotangent of 90 minus A. <clears throat> cotangent of A its co-function, which is tangent, 90 minus A. And for the other pair of co-functions, secant of angle A is cosecant of B, which is 90 minus A. And cosecant of angle A is secant of 90 minus A. And now I just happen to use 90 degrees. But you could have also written this in terms of radians. Remember that 90 degrees is pi over 2 radians. So this could also be applied to replace all these 90 degrees with pi over 2.